short answer is that um, yes, you could continue to do that, but we would look at whether or not if, if, we, if the board has acted to not put it in the fee schedule, where, whether we would ask the board to come back and formally um, say, okay, well, you need to amend you know, your original action. But, when is this question? Um, prior to all this, we had the 20 freebies. <coughs> After the 20 freebies, people had to go in and Pay four bucks, three bucks, and four bucks for the U.S. Yeah, four dollars. Yeah. Five. Okay, four dollars. Now, if we rescind this two-dollar thing, are we giving them more than just twenty, or do they have to get the pay the four dollars? We, to... we talked about this at committee. I just want to be sure we had legislation in front of us, and, and it was right before Larry left, so we did come to community business, and, and we were studying it for a year and a half with staff. And so it finally culminated into a recommendation that did come to committee. It was tabled because there was no public input on the overall comprehensive parking change. And okay, does so that we, answer my question about the one that you want to you got the one 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 go online and get your 20 free. But it was costing $2. Well, I understand there was, so it, it wasn't free. It was free to the residents. Right, it was free to the residents. We were paying yes. $2. So what we, what the right. board and we were looking at fifty thousand dollars in right. fees to yeah. issue these. So, so not, I mean, before before Duncan, you know, right? PD, pre right. right. And we would uh, police department also. We would do the uh, sorry, the freebies, the twenty freebies, and after the twenty freebies, people would have to come in and get the the four dollar overnights. Right. To the police station every night. Yeah, to the police station every night. Very inconvenient. Yes. And uh, but That's true. you know this had a lot to do with you know what we were trying to do on parking restriction at night. Mm -hmm. So and uh, I, I just want to be clear: if we we send this two dollar thing right now, are we making it <coughs> infinite times or three hundred sixty five times a year oh. minus I just the two days? It was addressed in the report that. That, that question was addressed of should we go back to allowing for four so that it wouldn't so going back to that three to four dollars for right. more and um, and there were two options so that's why I mentioned it that we that's more of a, I think it's more of a comprehensive discussion I'd like to have it because I would love to know resident input I just don't know making decisions because we heard from people on you know social media that they didn't want it is probably the most um, yeah, I would like true public process to get the input. Who, who, who uh, mentioned that on the social media? Because um, I don't recall that conversation. Yeah, I don't right? recall that. If you're going to make that accusation, I'd prefer you to. Was that, did that happen to you? It's actually an accusation. Maybe you can be specific about what accusation you were saying that Trustee Miller made. So you said that because we heard on social media, I'm not sure what. I would like a, I, I'm saying that I would like a process like during a budget where it's on the agenda and we can have public input because it affects our revenue and our expenditures. I'm fine with making the change. I don't think it's appropriate today. It's not on the agenda. It's we, I get um, I, I constantly say if it's you know if this isn't on the agenda for action, you need to put it in the future agenda. Items. And so I apologize to my fellow trustees for not making a more solid argument back in um, October when we had this discussion. I do not take responsibility, however, for any individual trustees' lack of knowledge on the item. That is not my responsibility to educate any of us. So, I, but again, I do apologize to the residents and to all of you tonight, and for this lengthy discussion when we in ten minutes were supposed to. Ten minutes were done. Yep. We got a lot to do yet. Mark, what did you? Well, to my original second point, uh, based on what staff viewed as the board's decision on this fee, we have directed Duncan to implement programming to facilitate charging uh, a fee for this previously free service. Right. Um, just for full disclosure, should the board change their perspective on that, uh, their cost recovery model was built into that $2 fee for that programming. Uh, we would likely be requested to uh, pay for those programming changes uh, up front uh, if the board was to suspend that course of action. The initial estimate 
that the effort Duncan for that was twelve to fifteen thousand dollars it would take to implement this change. Okay. <laughs> just finish. I think that that's why if you look I, I could be wrong, but we did we implemented we chose the system of Duncan. The reason the fees are a little higher is because we didn't have any upfront costs. Like there was two different plans. So I might be I might not be right, but that's what my understanding is. We have a uh, we have a motion. The motion is to approve the resolution as it is. Okay. The motion is to approve it as it is. Change the title. Change the title. Yeah, change the title. Okay. okay. I think uh, this is one of those examples of what's all. Can we just vote? Sorry. Sorry. Let's, let's call the question on it. Trustee Zilbert. No. Trustee Rosick. Yes. Trustee Lewis. Yes. Trustee McKay. Yes. Trustee Maher. Yes. Trustee Backers. Trustee Amanda. No. President Johnson. Yes. I don't know, Sarah. What was it? Uh, it was three days. Three days. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the next item. Public Works Committee, uh, Trustee Zobek, uh, first item is to consider award of contract for the 2018 Wilson Drive reconstruction project. Thank you. We've got a lot of action from Public Works today. The first, uh, there are two, there are three regarding Wilson Drive. The first is the one that we've all been waiting for and holding our breath on um, to see what the actual bids were compared to what our engineering estimate was. Uh, engineering, engineering some of the probable cause, uh, excuse me, probable cause. Um, this was <laughs> this was a publicly uh, this was a publicly advertised bid. There were three bidders. Uh, the memo you can see we received. The village received uh, bids from Stark Pavement, Always Contractors, and Bids in Construction. Uh, in accordance with the rules that govern this, uh, we are uh, bound to take the uh, low bid, which is um, Stark. Uh, uh, Stark uh, paving, uh, Stark pavement, uh, and so I move to approve uh, the award of the contract for the 2018 Wilson Drive reconstruction reconstruction project to Stark Pavement Corporation in the amount of two million eight hundred thirty-six thousand seventeen dollars and sixty-three cents. Second. Discussion. This did come with unanimous approval uh, of the Public Works Department. I'm just curious, do we have uh, the ability to make any change orders that wasn't specified in the contract anywhere? The village wants to do a change order in some way? We always have that ability. Have that. Yes. Great, thank you. Okay. Any other comments? All in favor of the motion stated, say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes. Next item uh, also for uh, Trustee Zola, the considered professional services agreement for the 2018 Wilson Drive Construction Inspection and Management Services. Thank you. There was also a uh, public uh, solicitation for uh, proposals uh, for professional services uh, for construction management and inspection. Seven, uh, seven firms responded to the RFP. Uh, there were four firms. Uh, all, all the um, all the uh, submittals were reviewed. Four firms were selected to uh, uh, to be interviewed as finalists. Uh, we see them listed before as Great Far as Smith, Stantec, and Strand. Uh, there was an interview uh, committee consisting of our village manager, our director, um, and assistant director of public works, and I, as the chair of the public works committee, uh, participated as well. Uh, after the interviews, uh, the unanimous decision of the selection committee um, was to go um, with uh, um, with Stantec uh, uh, for uh, construction management and um, inspection services. So I uh, uh, moved to accept the proposal of an enter into a service agreement with Stantec to provide inspection services related to the reconstruction of Wilson Drive. In an, ex in an amount not to exceed one hundred and two thousand nine hundred and eighty-three dollars. Discussion? Yes. Just a quick thing from the committee. Um, Dan is still here. Yes. So there is a big discrepancy between, if you look between the four bids, they're like almost double. And so the question was asked, 
why. Um, and so if anyone's wondering, one of the things is there was not a the same level of qualified person as an inspector, so that helped bring the cost down to some of those proposals that are less. Um, Excuse, go ahead. There was a difference in the hourly rate. Right there, she said rate. two titles. Yeah, not, not the level of person. It's a qualified person. It's, it's, a, right. it's, a, less, it's a lesser billing rate. Can you clarify that? It was like one was a engineer and one was a... The, um, the inspector for Strand is a PE, which is a professional engineer. Um, and I believe Ari Smith, uh, their proposed inspector, is also a PE. The inspectors from Grafe and Stantec were, did not have the professional engineer designation. Thank you. Um, and so the other, just, she did make a statement when we read that we may, she may come back for a change order on this if we need more hours. So I just want to share that. And that could always be true. I don't anticipate it, but this possibility. Okay, any other comments? All in favor of the motion stated, say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes. Next we'll item also for Paul, I consider award contract 2018 Lake Drive resurfacing. Thank you. Um, oh, did I miss something? No. Okay. Well, first water class. <coughs> um, there was, uh, again, uh, public solicitation. Two, uh, two bids were received, uh, one from Dana Dolan and one from Stark Pavement. Uh, the low bid uh, was, in fact, um, uh, Painted Dolan, uh, so I move to uh, award the contract for the 2018 Lake Drive resurfacing to Painted Dolan Incorporated for the amount of $341,983.90. Second. I would uh, add that um, uh, this is for repaving the entire, uh, so to, to removing, milling down two inches of asphalt uh, the entire Lake <coughs> Drive and Shore replacing it, uh, prepping that surface, then replacing it with two and a half inches uh, at the appropriate uh, road, with the appropriate road profile. And at this point, um, uh, the plan is to, to restrike uh, north of Capitol in accordance with our uh, this board's approval of the, the change to the striking plan and south of Capitol um, um, uh, with no changes at this point. Uh, but noted that um, there will be a, a striping plan and that that striping might change um, uh, as we move forward. Is that right? Any other comments? On this, on this was budgeted at 450 and the overall bid with the engineering came in at 366000 right. so that's a good, that's good. That's really good news. Okay. All in favor of the motion stated, say aye. 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 Opposed? Pass this. Uh, now we move to uh, community and business relations. No. Okay. Yeah, one more. Oh, uh, I have the water main belt. I'm sorry. I'm a little <laughs> um, I can't find my memo here for that. Uh, so the last item uh, from Public Works is the uh, water main uh, valve replacement on uh, on um, Wilson Drive, and uh, there were four, again, publicly uh, uh, publicly advertised uh, uh, project. There were four uh, bids received, uh, Mid-City Plumbing, UPI Incorporated, American Sewer Services, and Cornerstone. The memo has the prices. Um, uh, the low bid is Mid-City uh, Plumbing and Heating, Inc. So I move to award the contract for the 2018 Wilson Drive valve replacement to Mid-City Plumbing and Heating, Inc. in the amount of $62,800. Second. Discussion? Yeah. Attached is a fiscal note, which has the overall Wilson Drive costs, including this valve, bought the water valve. The whole overall project for Wilson is budgeted at $3,975,000. In February, the engineering estimate was just slightly over 3.7 million. The bids, all, all the bids, with the, this water bill came in at 3, 3, 444,000 less than the engineering estimate, and almost 713,000 less than the 
the budgeted amount. So this is good news. Mm -hmm. We've got great, great so, project. So apparently Foxconn wasn't affecting it. We're lucky. <laughs> we are lucky. It has a question though, why it was so off. I, that's that's not in, in the scope it's of this sort of project, that's not a, a reasonable Sweet. variation between the engineers. And if we're gonna be off um, by that that's much, I'm glad we're on this yeah. level. Yeah. 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 So, <coughs> I, I okay. We did we did take a lot out of the value engineering um, in terms of landscaping and that sort of thing. And I don't, I mean, we may want to consider basically think about landscaping and entrance and stuff like that. We may want to reconsider some of those decisions. I think. Okay. We have to take a look at it again. So, I think it gets removed. We have motion to second. All in favor of the motion, state and say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes. Now we move on to community and business relations. Uh, update on parking signage for a metro market parking lot. Ah, okay. So, um, before we get into that, um, for a metro market parking structure status update, uh, this is a status update. Um, a lot of information provided that was not necessarily needed. The intent of the memo is to authorize or just, you know, so we're aware that we're moving forward 